I'm Tom Cooper, Executive Director of Sandestin Owners Association, and you're watching Tom Talks. In today's episode, we're going to give you a brief overview on the SOA's Aquatic Weed Harvester. Now, the Aquatic Weed har Harvester is an aluminum boat with a big, giant um, pontoon system conveyor belt, and what happens is the uh, boat goes along in the lake and it uh, eats, if you will, the um, algae that's floating on the top. And those lily pads that it just went past, it'll get those too. I'll get that in a minute. Um, here you can see it again in, an, in another lake. This is a cleaner lake. Uh, but we purchased this piece of equipment in 2016 for around $76,000. Um, out of a company in, uh, the manufacturer was in Wisconsin, uh, the sales group was in uh, up around um, Minneapolis, uh, Minnesota. But back to the harvester, um, it'll, it'll go along uh, the top of the lake and suck the algae up onto the conveyor and you can see the back where it's spitting it out into the hopper in the um, back all that builds up onto the boat and ultimately they bring it back to the shore and wheel it up on this big aluminum pontoon boat trailer get it loaded up there and then this is the spoils from this particular lake this is not the same lake that some of the previous videos were in but the one where it was putting it on the trailer is the spoils from that lake. As you can see, there's a lot of pine straw in that. Um, pine straw is our nemesis. So once they get it on the trailer, they will then load it up, uh, fire the tractor up, and they will haul it out uh, of the lake. It's a difficult feat, as you can see. We can't put that harvester in many of the lakes at Sandust, and you can see the damage that it does to the grass. We'll have Russell go back and um, repair that turf. So it's a, it's a huge operation to get this beast in and out of the water. They'll take it after that, they'll take it over to our sanitation site to where our landscape debris is. Uh, and then they'll reverse thrusters, if you will, on the conveyor belt, and they'll dump that pile uh, off the conveyor belt, let it dry. It's very heavy when it's wet. When it dries, it's actually very light. And they'll put it up in the dumpster. As you can see, and as you can tell by that, there's a lot of lake area to cover. Um, and that conveyor won't hold um, a lot of cubic feet of spoil. Um, so it's nice when we can pull up along the lake bank somewhere and and dump it out and let it uh, dry and then haul it away from there. It makes life a lot easier. But again, there's not very many places that we can do that. So once they get into uh, finished unloading it, they'll bring it over to the uh, storage area. And here is a picture of the equipment. Uh, it's just hydraulics and aluminum. Um, it's turned by paddle wheels, as you can see there. Those are two paddle wheels. Um, Echo Harvester Aquatic Plant Management, that's the manufacturer. Again, I don't get any royalties and I'm not advertising, just as a disclaimer. Um, but there's a look of the conveyor belt on the back. And as you go around the other uh, paddle wheel, and it's a little Honda engine that runs with a hydraulics, gas-powered engine, and puts it along pretty good. Everything's hydraulics on this once the uh, motor gets fired up. Now that big blue bin that you see there, that wheel, what happens is um, when we get into um, aquatic plants that are growing from the, the, the floor of the lake to the surface, and we want to remove those, that barrel will drop down on top of that conveyor belt and act, act as a chopper. So it'll just go along there and just eat those weeds and bring them right up onto the conveyor belt. 
This is a, just a historical picture of our Weed Harvester 1.0. That was a beast that had blades on it. It was a human resources workman's comp nightmare, but it's basically um, the same principle. The only thing that was better about this piece of equipment was we could actually pull up to the lake bank uh, and eject the spoils from the bow onto the grass because it over uh, it would lean over um, the lake bank. So that was a little bit nicer, but it was it was a menace. It actually turned over in a lake, and we had to get a crane to get it um, to take it out. Get it get the crane to take it out. But that's just a little piece of trivia for you. Again, this was uh, built, or it was uh, sold to us by Weeders Digest Lake and Pond Experts from New Hope, Minnesota. They can be reached at 877-224-4899. And again, I'm getting no advertising royalties from Weeders Digest. I'm merely letting you, the homeowner, know who we bought the equipment from in case you may be interested in some sort of similar type equipment yourself. So, if you have any questions on our weed harvester, please let me know, and we'll see you soon.